Joshua Wiseman actually cook pancakes? And will they be better than box mix? We'll find out. Look, this is really easy. In a small bowl, whisk together one egg and one and a half cups or 386 grams of whole milk. Egg. Whisk you, whisk you very well. And then add regular milk because who has whole milk? Make sure nice and smooth. Add in two cups or 300 grams of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup or 62 grams of granulated sugar, one teaspoon or four grams of fine sea salt, a quarter teaspoon or one gram of baking soda, and one tablespoon or 12 grams of baking powder. Add in flour, add in granulated sugar. Oh wait, brown sugar, no granulated sugar left. Add in some baking powder, add in baking soda, all the baking soda, and then add some salt. Give that some whiskey business. By the way, I still don't know why you guys get so stressed if I don't say whiskey business. I mean, it's, I don't know. Whiskey business without being stressed. No stress, no stress. The milky egg stuff. And as you're mixing that together, whisk in two tablespoons or 21 grams of melted unsalted butter and continue whisking until everything is combined and smooth. Add milky egg stuff, mix, mix. Add in butter, mix, mix, mix. Until somewhat chunky and a little bit smooth. But will Joshua's pancake be better than box mix? We'll crack one egg, minus the eggshell. Unless you need extra calcium, then keep the eggshell. Then we'll add in half a cup of milk, one cup of all-purpose flour. You gotta whisk, whisk, no being stressed, very important. Until a little bit smoother than Joshua's butter and has the consistency of melted soft serve ice cream. Then preheat yourself a nonstick skillet over medium heat. Hit it with some spray oil and or a couple tablespoons of unsalted butter. Let's take over medium heat, uh, mix in butter with measuring cup or a spatula. That makes more sense. And once that pan is nice and hot, spoon in quarter cup dollops of your batter and cook for two to three minutes or until golden brown. Spoon quarter cups dollops of the batter. Very, very thick batter. Now flip your pancakes and cook an additional one to three minutes or till beautiful golden brown and bouncy, but not overly firm. Flip when they bounce like a bouncy castle. Make sure to make, give them some makeup to make them look good. Flip one, then two, and then the third. Oh, then flip the third. Don't worry, nothing a little bit of makeup cannot fix. Place those lovelies on the side and repeat with the rest of your batter. Place the lovelies on the side. Would you look at that? Those look like some flippin' pancakes. Or flapjacks or whatever you want to call them. Doesn't matter to me. Now obviously you'll top that with butter, drizzle it with some maple syrup or smoked maple syrup if you're truly a culinary hype beast like me. Not a culinary hype beast. Joy, but before we do that, let's talk about our competitor. The competitor, add butter. Give it a little mix. One, two, three scoops. Flip when it's like a bouncy castle. Then put in another plate. Make sure they're all lovelies. One, two, and three. And then remember the pretty one is at the top as always. Taste test both. My girlfriend also gonna taste both. Hmm, these ones are pretty good. Hmm, okay. Oh wait, something is missing. Maple syrup. Real Canadian maple syrup. Add some to the first pancake. Add even more to the second pancake. Now we can actually taste the pancakes. All right. Mmm, with the maple syrup, way better. All right, let's try the second pancakes. These are Josh's pancakes. All right. Extra maple syrup on these ones. And let's see how these ones taste. Mmm, okay, there is definitely a clear, clear winner. The winner is Josh. I guess he can cook some pancakes.